I'm Rollo Ross from Reuters, and I'm just north of Las Vegas where I'm checking out the latest form of transportation, the Virgin Hyperloop, which could very well revolutionize the future. So when we're sitting inside the pod, we have two seats. The seats are this very nice, slightly off-white vegan leather. We've got a almost suede type of interior here. All again, the idea to make it appear large, give that feeling of airiness. We've got the door here, a nice window in the front. So this was the area that we actually could see ourselves traveling down the tube, which was that, that moment that you actually knew it was, it was happening. like an aircraft at takeoff and once you're at speed you won't feel anything despite going at these you know airline speeds you won't even have turbulence because our system is basically completely able to react to all that turbulence think like noise canceling but just bump canceling if you will and that means that you have a coffee you have a drink whatever uh, it won't it won't spill you won't have any kind of side to side motions because we can bank we can turn like a plane today the first people traveled safely on a hyperloop Tomorrow, Virgin Hyperloop will change the way the world moves with an on-demand, sustainable mass transportation system that connects cities in minutes. You'll start to see, I'll say, a number of projects in like 2027 and 2028 and 29, and then commercial operations in that time frame for multi multiple amounts of people or mass amounts of people. Um, so I would like, to, it's like the, the decade of Hyperloop, right?